Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the D0 Loot Guide Part 2, where we are going to look at what kind of loot you can get at this military barracks right here, okay? If you want to understand the, the circumstances and the reasons for doing this and the settings, then just watch, part, just watch the beginning of Part 1. But without further ado, let's see what kind of puppets and loot we can get inside here. Okay, definitely not going to search the rubbish. Okay, so there's one, two, three. Three puppets. Okay, so three puppets. Three puppets. I'm gonna have to make notes as well on the number. But again, just looking for if the puppets are stable. Do they walk through things? Do they glitch through things? Okay, there's nothing really on the shelves here, which is interesting. Interesting that there's nothing on the shelves. Okay, okay. So here is a yellow screwdriver point. Okay. Very important. Yellow screwdriver spawn point right here. Very, very important. The second container. Just activated the yellow screwdriver spawn point. Okay. And if you guys know my rules for the series, that is extremely important. Extremely important for our research. And I'm thinking, let's check the puppets as well. Because the loot percentage is so high, the puppet should give you more clothing and more items as well. So let's see what this guy can give us. Okay, that's a helmet and strap metal or bolt. Okay. Not too much to write home about. What can you give us, sir? Money. Money. Nothing. Nothing insane. Still good clothing if we repaired it and decided to wear it. Okay. Okay. So that is this one building. Get inside the other building as fast as possible. I've just got the MREs with me for food. I've got the water with me for water and the and the grinding stone just to repair the sword, guys. One puppet in here. The outside is very, very quiet. I must say, even with a hundred percent spawn percentage, the outside, the exterior puppets are very disappointing. Interior puppets is not extremely disappointing, but I must say the exterior puppets are disappointing. Exterior puppets are definitely, in and even the interior, even the interior puppets. With a hundred percent spawn percentage. Okay, so very, very, very important. Which one? We just looted this one. Or did we loot this one? We looted okay. We looted this one. Okay. Another yellow screwdriver spawn point right here. Very, very, very important. We've already gotten two yellow screwdrivers here. So the red screwdriver spawn percentage is not overwhelming the yellow yellow screwdriver spawn percentage there. Okay, so once again, two puppets so far. Now it looks like there's only two puppets here. So normal normal spawn percentage is not very not very dangerous. And I mean, it doesn't really matter what you make the damage. It's only one guy. Very, very easy to take out this one guy. Oh. 
And yes, I know I've got a katana, guys. I'm just thinking of the threat level. Okay, so there were two. There were two. Okay, so all of this is one. That's one. That's two. Okay, okay, okay. So you can loot them individually. Very, very, very important for ammo and stuff. Ammo and clips. M82 suppressor. Make sure I don't miss anything here. What's the easiest to loot? What's the easiest way to loot these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you can you can loot that way easier. So far, those brown boxes are definitely the winners for yellow screwdrivers. Don't know if it's only here, but so far those. Um, oh, you can loot these individually as well. That's very important. But yeah, so far those brown boxes are. Oh, very, 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 very good. That's a different ammo here, which I like. Ammo is good. Gunpowder to craft ammo is good. Um... Okay. Armor. Very good as well. Um, is there a brown box in here? Nothing on the shelf. Nothing on the shelf. So there's not really spawn points on the shelves here. Searching the shelves don't matter. <laughs> But, okay, did I loot? No, I didn't loot these individually. Very important to loot these individually. Okay, but no real brown traits here. Did we miss these? No, we didn't miss them. Okay, so this is where we found that yellow screwdriver. Okay, okay. Mental note made. So this place isn't bad at all. Okay, now there's all of a sudden a lot of puppets. It looks like they've spawned in now. This looks a lot better. This looks a heck of a lot better. A heck of a lot better. No puppet glitching, which I like. Quite a few puppets. Stamina is getting lower, that's why it's taking more shots. Okay, we won't, it, it's very, the chances are very small that we will loot the places outside, guys, because of the mix, okay? I'm not going to loot unrealistically. But let's just focus on the places that we will loot. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in my vicinity. These shelves have got clothing and armor, so these shelves are definitely worth it. I know those shelves have got armor and clothing. These shelves should have something as well, yep. Shelves have got stuff as well. Get my mouse away there. Okay, those are gloves. Okay, we can't loot that individually. No taken. A lot of armor. A lot of armor, which I love a lot. Which I really, really, really like. Okay, so this is the place where we jump in, which is quite difficult. This is the place where we jump in, which is very difficult. To get in here, you have to jump over this wall. To get out of here, you have to double jump this. You have to double jump this. To just get out of here as soon as possible. But to get into here, 
you can't use this to get in here you can't you can't jump up here okay that's not gonna work only way to get in here okay okay so we have to be on the outside let's just quickly see let's just quickly see this Okay, so you can't be against the wall, but let's see if we can still jump up here. Can't. Can't. Okay, so we're just not high enough there, okay? So where's the next gap in the gate? The next gap in the gate's here. And this is too high, so we must use the third gap. No. We must use this place here, where our head is the height okay so we can only get over if our head is roughly the height of the thing so we can use this one we can't use this one we can't use this one so by the tree from the tree we can jump over here so that's a very good note Except for that. Oh my word. Come on, man. That's disappointing. In any case. That's one way of getting in there. Yeah, anywhere else is just dangerous. Because you've got to make walking there. You've got to make walking here. So you don't want to be close to them, guys. So that's definitely the best entry point. That is the best entry point by a mile. Okay. You've got this one here. I don't think I've been in this one year a lot. Definitely don't think I've been in this one year a lot. Okay, so let's see what we get here. No, I haven't looted this. I haven't looted this area. Okay, so that's food. Okay. Can't believe I've never looted this one. Maybe the Megs have got constant sight of this. I'm not sure. You can loot these individually, which which are very very good. Very very good indeed. Can't believe I've never looted this one. I'm thinking, I think the Megs can look in here very very easily. Okay, so we roughly know what spawns in there. We're not interested in that. Is it worth coming in here? That's the other question. Is it worth coming in here? Okay. Normal. Normal. And then these two points that is not really going to give you something most of the time. So I don't think that point is really worth it. Let's see if it's worth going to this point right over here. We've been in here a lot. Okay, so this is one spawn point. So this place got one natural spawn point. Two natural spawn points. Okay, so the puppets don't naturally spawn where they spawn on my servers because of the multipliers. Okay, so that's very interesting. That's very interesting. So it's basically just two puppets here, which is a bit boring. The standard loot here. There are food, which is nice. 
Ooh, clothing. Clothing, which is also very nice. Looks like we can loot everything here individually. Yes, there's money, but we don't really care about the money. Apparently, repair kits are quite common here. Not common, I mean, but you can find them here. Of course, with low loot percentages, you're almost never going to find them. But it does give us that rare loot, which is nice. And then the big question is, is it ever worth coming in here? Like, so far, these lockers has never impressed me. And, of course, the mechs can see you when you're up here. Okay. And give us a sledgehammer, which is worth money. That face roll sledgehammer is definitely worth money. Okay, so if you're lucky, you can get lucky, of course. That's just common loot. Something to drink. Sure, this is just common loot. Yep, common, common. Common loot. This crate underneath here. Okay, that one didn't surprise us. That crate didn't surprise us at all. There's a lovely crate again. These crates are good. I must say these brown crates are definitely good. Okay, that gave us thread, which is good. Um, okay, let's just see. Is there anything else here? Yes, guys, I know I'm injured. Is it ever worth climbing up here? I really doubt it is ever worth climbing up here. Like, even that puppet, you guys have seen that puppet spawn on my servers. That puppet that didn't spawn. So, if I am right, okay, there is a gun spawn here. There is a pistol spawn there, okay? So there's a pistol spawn point there. Um, according to me, okay, no, you can't climb through here. So there's no real way to get onto the roof from here. That will be one reason for me to come up here. No, there is. There is a way. There is a way. Um, let me just figure this out. Okay, so you crouch. Okay, so then you can get onto the roof. Okay. Then you can get onto the roof. Why would you want to be on the roof? You definitely don't want to be on this side of the roof. The mechs are going to shoot you into kingdom come. Don't really know if you want to be on this side of the roof. So, reasons for being on the roof. With megs around you. I can't really think of a great, great reason. Um, to be on the roof. Can't really think of a great reason to be on the roof. Okay, this won't kill us. We just take a shortcut down here. Fly down a bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We'll treat the injuries later. Okay, so th there's this place here, which usually gives you gloves, like rubber gloves. Let's just see if it works as it normally works. And again, normally two spawn points here with a multiplier, only one spawn point here without a multiplier. Okay. Only one spawn point without a multiplier, which is very interesting. Common. Common. Common, common, common loot. Some clothing, which isn't a big deal. No rubber glove in here. So the shelves didn't give us a rubber glove. Two of these. These are good. These are, I like that. I mean, that's even an axe. Axe is not bad. 
Okay. Then we've got these rooms here. These places, which I think are very good. Pistol there, yeah. And then these. These, I feel, are very, very good. Ammo. Let's take the ammo, shall we? And even with the five times multiplier, you get a lot of nothings. Even with the five times multiplier, guys, we're getting a lot of nothings. Okay? Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I just have to check the area as well. Or uh, you do get loot on the beds sometimes. Apparently there is no loot on the beds for us, which is weird. This one won't have a kitchen. Uh -huh. And then this one. These are just beds. Okay, this one also doesn't have a kitchen. Okay. Even with the five times multiplier. Very, very interesting. Okay, gas mask. That's definitely a reason to come here. Oh, okay. So. Quite rare to find loot here, even on a five times multiplier. But if you find something, definitely worth it. Ammo. These lockers seem to not impress me a lot of the time. Lockers don't. Okay, 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 okay. Lockers. Lockers can give you something. Okay, we just put on a mask. That's fine. Okay, next one for a shave. Nothing. Okay, pistol on the shelf again. As per normal. Just press the tab so that we don't miss anything on the beds. Okay, there's something on a bed. There's a hunting rifle on a bed. Like I told you guys, you do get loot on the beds. But even with the five times multiplier, not a lot. Not a lot. Very, very interesting. Salt backpack. Boots, that's good. Okay, now we're getting into the interesting parts. Did that thing replace our helmet? Are you serious? The mask replaced our helmet. That's really funny. Okay, so now it's these big buildings, which I never like looting because the Megs always see me. Not always, but it's the you know it's it's time consuming looting these places but let's see how worth it it is to get spotted by the makes in these um i don't know what you would call them vehicle buildings yeah it looks like vehicle repair shop buildings let's see what we get inside here nothing there okay bread's always good the drivers are good okay can we loot these individually or is it just one? No, it's one. Thank you. This thing here. Nothing special. Nothing special. We've got two over here. Okay, I have to take the ammo. Oh, that's a nice one. Take it. We'll fit in somewhere. The driver's always good. We're not bad. I must say, not bad. If we're going to be able to loot these individually, which are giving us ammo. 
drum magazine. Okay, the space for the drum magazine. Common loot here. Okay, nothing special yet. Okay, then we've got this room here. It's got absolutely nothing. With these three con with these two containers. Okay, that's really interesting. But we won't have the space for that. So I'm thinking let's put that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there, this one here, uh that one there. That one there, this one here. Okay, inside here we've got these three containers. Ammo. Got this container. Nothing special. Okay, not bad. Okay, just a bunch of boxes. Okay. 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 Nice. Ammo. Okay, nothing special over there. Okay, but that room is definitely a nice room. Definitely a nice room. Then you've got these two this room here. Uh, if I do focus looting, I don't think this will be a room that I focus on. Okay, we can get advanced lockpicks there apparently. So the loot goblins definitely want to prove me wrong here. Okay, lockers. Again, this is the rusted lockers. Don't know if the lo rusted lockers are going to be great for any reason, particularly. Oh, they seem quite common. Got the bar showers in here with no spawn point. Like external spawn points matter. Okay, guys, so. Yeah, not gonna loot the other one. We roughly know, but of course these these buildings right here is where is where the big thing comes. And again, I don't want to make these episodes longer than a half an hour. So that's what we're gonna focus on. There we've got a knife. Okay. Red magazines again, armor, helmets, armor, helmets, and military clothing, which you can repair fully, which is very, very good. You can loot these individually, which is very, very, very good. Even with the five times multiplier, get a lot of nothings. Very interesting. Another M82 depressor. Um, join. Let's throw that away. Put that there. Put this in here. Night vision. Right. Go into the other one. And if you guys feel like again, guys, we're not looting the center. We're not looting the center. That's unrealistic. Can you get good loot there? Yes, but it is unrealistic. Okay, there's all one spawn point, so it doesn't really matter. These shelves over here always give me something. Pistol holster. And we can put the gun out in the pistol holster. Save space. Nothing over there. MRE. Holy poop. Holy poop. That is massive. Inside this thing was an M82. Absolutely massive. 
Of course, that spawn percentage will be very, very rare, very low. But still bloody epic. Still bloody epic. We can definitely make a note of that one. Definitely make a note of that spawn point. Goodness freaking gracious me. A lot of bloody clothing. What's the chance that we get another M82? With these special green boxes over here. Or maybe just a gun. Okay, not a lot. Okay, guys, so we're basically done with the area. 30 minutes, so the video is good timing. These containers here, guys, like dying for them. Like, you can't loot them without dying. Especially if you've got friends that attract the megs away from this point. But I mean, okay. That's a knife. For me, just not worth, not worth the risk. But of course, if you've got friends, it could be worth the risk. Now let's check this low hanging fruit over here. Like, is there insane loot where no one will really loot? I don't really think so. I definitely don't think so. And I mean, this building looks exactly the same, guys. Looks exactly the same. And we've got two of our favorite containers over here. That didn't really give us what we were hoping for. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's part two for the D0 sector. Okay. What I'm going to do is uh, just place the chest outside here. And I must say, I like it. I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to drag all the loot inside. Not bad at all, guys. As we can see, even with the five times multiplier, okay, um, you still get a lot of nothings. But yes, that's it for now. Now, I just want to give you guys an update. I'm not going to go through all the towns in the sectors. I'm going to go for the points of interest. But we are going to loot a big town and look at the loot. Okay, a big town is this town, this town, this town, you know. We are going to loot one big town to see what loot we get inside it. We're going to loot one big ocean town to see how the ocean towns differ okay and we're definitely gonna loot the major big towns okay but this one also qualifies as an, as an ocean town so we're not going to repeat points that look the same except for the bunkers when it comes to the bunkers we just want to see how the layout changes how fast it, you know, how fast we can loot the bunkers how you know how easy it is to get to the armories and things like that but we are going to focus on points of interest and of course the big city is a point of interest again if you did enjoy this do me a favor just click that like button if you're not subscribed yet and you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum click the subscribe button and if you want to support me and help me do this full time links are down in the description below hope you guys have a great day cheers